I have previously discussed how you can use ChatGPT to read research articles. In this video, I'll show you a more streamlined approach for doing the same using the Bing Enterprise Chat or uh, Microsoft Copilot. This is a thing that lives within the Microsoft Edge browser and it differs from ChatGPT that it is protected. That means that if you're logged in at the, with your university user account, all the information that you right there will stay within the Microsoft Azure cloud and you don't need to worry about sending your input to a foreign servers or open AI. So this is more data secure way of using GPT-4 and it's also for free. For free here means that it's covered by the university subscription to Microsoft 365 and you get some of the same features that, that you would get with ChatGPT+. So how you use the Copilot for reading article differs a bit from how you would use ChatGPT. When you use ChatGPT, you would write something here, copy paste the content of the article, but we no longer need to do that. Instead, we can just open the article file or any web page in the, in the browser. And I'm using the Sapienza paper that I use on my research methods course to talk about concepts. So we'll open that article and uh, then we can start asking questions about the article. I'll start by asking Copilot to summarize the article for me. One thing that you need to be careful about is to make, be specific that you want it to summarize the article that you have open. If you just ask GPT to summarize the article for you, then it might search for internet for information instead of looking at the article. So when you read the output, make sure that it says, says searching your page for information. That indicates that it is summarizing the article and not something else. We have here the answer, it's pretty much correct, and you also get page numbers from which you can find the information. Then I ask about some limitations, and uh, part of these limitations are something that the article itself explains. For example, it doesn't not allow for all factors or outcomes, but some of this is genuinely new analysis, like it doesn't really have any empirical data. We can also ask follow-up questions, for example, imprinting, and uh, now GPT or, or Copilot is searching for imprinting in the article and also from the web, and then it will synthesize the information for you. So this is a really, really useful way of starting to understand complex articles. I've actually used a similar workflow myself using GPT-4 or GPT+, Plus, but this is something that you can do for free, and it's pretty cool. We can ask about moderation and it, te it tells what moderation means and what are the moderators in the article and it allows us to uh, go and, and learn more about the topic. So it not only provides you the answers, but it provides you also links that you can use to verify the answer.